The hot air balloon was the first successful aircraft to safely take off and land with people on board. It works by heating the air inside the balloon with a gas flame to make the hot air in the balloon lighter than the cold air outside so we can lift off and carry the basket and the passengers up to 11 miles into the sky. But how do you make something that big light enough to fly while also making it strong enough to take the heat and carry passengers safely? Making the balloon starts with cutting out pieces of ultra lightweight nylon with a heated stainless steel wire so they can be sewn together to make a giant balloon up to 10 stories tall. The nylon they use is called ripstop nylon because there are little squares woven into it to stop tears from spreading through the fabric. To be sure there are no holes or punctures in the nylon before it's cut, every inch of it is inspected on a lighted table. Then, up to 10 sheets of the nylon are rolled out and stacked on a cutting table, one on top of the other, and sliced all at once by the hot 1,000 degree wire into panels that measure between 9 and 18 feet in length. They use a hot wire because it makes a more accurate cut than scissors or a computer controlled cutting machine. It's also the only way to cut through 10 sheets of nylon at once. The nylon doesn't catch fire because it's flame resistant. But it does melt a bit which seals the fibers along the cut to make the fabric less likely to tear. Once all the pieces are cut, they're sewn together with a unique sewing machine that uses two pairs of needles for a total of four needles to stitch the seams. The multiple needles are needed to make a stitch called the four needle chain stitch. This type of stitch is able to flex in the wind to prevent tears. And if one line of stitching pulls out, the other three will still hold. All of the seams are backed with polyester tape to give them extra strength. Some of the seams are also lined with polyester rope. The ropes strengthen the balloon and tie into the rigging that connects the balloon to the basket. When it's all finished, it can take up to 600 pieces of nylon, more than 30 pieces of rope, and four days of sewing to complete just one balloon. While the balloon is being sewn, work is underway in another part of the factory on the burner that heats the air to lift the balloon. The burner is made out of stainless steel tubing that gets bent into coils. The tubing carries propane from a tank in the basket to the top of the burner where you see the flame on a hot air balloon. It takes three coils connected together, or a total of 33 feet of steel, to carry enough gas to fuel the flame. When it's finished, the coil is mounted to an aluminum plate that fits over the propane tank. A heat shield is then added to protect the passengers. When the burner is fired up to fly the balloon, it makes a 20-foot flame that typically burns at 30 million BTUs. One BTU is the same amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of a pound of water by one degree. This flame has 30 million times more energy than that. The final piece is a basket to carry the passengers. It's made of rattan the dried stems of a tropical vine-like palm plant. Rattan is lightweight and strong, but not very flexible. So to start a basket, larger pieces of rattan are steamed in warm water. To make it flexible enough to be bent around forms into the framework of the basket. Once it's bent, the rattan is clamped down and left for up to two days to let it dry. Then, the large bent pieces are bolted into the framework of the basket. Thinner strands are stapled around the frame lengthwise. And even thinner strands are woven between them to fill in the basket. They can take up to a month just to make one basket. When it's finished, the basket is coated in polyurethane to protect it from sunlight and rain. And should last for 40 years or more. When all of the parts are finished, the burner is mounted to the top of the basket and the basket is connected to the balloon. Then, all it takes is a blast of propane to ignite the flame and heat the air inside the balloon and it's up, up and away for nearly 2,000 pounds of balloon.
baskets, propane, and passenger.